Welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, Easter Sunday is just a couple days away. I got thinking about the resurrection of Jesus and how important that is to our faith as Christians. And I just wanted to talk to you for just a minute today about a couple ways that I know that Jesus was resurrected from the dead. First of all, if you study history, there's multiple places in secular history where they talk about the fact that Jesus was alive, that he lived, and some have even talked about his resurrection. We see Josephus, the Jewish historian, Tacitus, the Roman historian, Pliny the Elder, and others. So not only do we know that Jesus lived, but he also was raised from the dead. If you go to the site where Jesus was placed in the tomb, there's some interesting things ab about that in and of itself. First of all, they put about a one and a half ton stone in front of that tomb where Jesus was placed when he was buried there. Now, we know that a couple women who visited the tomb didn't move it away. How was that moved? Well, God took care of removing that stone. Also, there were Roman soldiers there. They worked in groups of 16. Uh, four were on duty 24-7 uh, while the others were resting and relaxing. And if those guys departed from their duty, it would be dereliction of duty and they'd face execution. Well, we know that the Roman soldiers didn't abandon their post until after God sent an earthquake and freed Jesus by raising him from the dead. Also on the outside of that tomb was the, the Roman seal. And that was the official recognition that what was inside there was what the Roman government had already decreed was so. So we know that when they went inside that tomb, they saw the grave clothes laying there. It was a sign that reminded everybody that Jesus was saying, I was here, but now I'm gone, but one day I'm coming back. So when the disciples saw him on the road to Emmaus and they said there was something burning within him, they had that encounter with Jesus, resurrected, who conquered death, hell, and the grave. So today on this Easter, you can place your faith in Jesus that he is who he said he was, and that is the Son of God, who is our Savior and our Lord. I'm all out of time for today, so till we get together again tomorrow, may God bless you, and hey, have a great day.